Good morning. Um, this is, it's June 1st. I've sort of lost track of time given how we've all been living the last couple of months, but it's June 1st and this is our studio jumpstart for the month of June. Um, I guess we'll just dive in. I have a sensing exploration uh, that's working with weight because I've run, because it's been a weighty time. So how do we meet weight? How do we put it down? How do we carry it? Uh, has been a big exploration for me, particularly the last couple of weeks, as uh, a lot of anger and intolerance has been floating up. And it just has been weighty. And so the only way I know how to work with it is to meet it and explore it. It's a, the sensing explore, exploration will be a little bit longer. So we're gonna move from sensing right into the writing prompt. If you feel a scribble, just jot down the writing prompt and go do a scribble. Um, and then we'll work together in our own studios and then the, we'll get back together for a uh, studio chat with Stephanie and me. So um, to begin with, Find something in your studio. It doesn't have to be, it can be your water bottle. It can be this, I have my bottle of gesso, but something that has some weight in it. And once you have found that, I'm gonna have you stand. Um, there'll be some walking if you wanna walk. If you don't wanna walk and you wanna stay in one place, just move back and forth a little bit, maybe turn around if you can, and move around a little bit. Um, so we're gonna start first by just coming to standing, holding the weight in one hand. If you wanna close your eyes here, sometimes that's helpful to kind of center and drop down from our heads down into our feet being connected to the floor with this weight and breathing your natural breath. And when you feel ready, this is where holding your weight, you can begin to move. You may want to switch the weight from hand to hand. Maybe you want to hold it in both hands. If you're up to it, walk around a little bit and move the weight back and forth. Holding it in both hands, breathing. Noticing how it may be different in your left hand than it is in your right hand. Noticing what happens when you carry the weight in both hands. And how lightly can the weight be held? Is there a gripping? Does it just seem so heavy? And with how much of your arm, your body, do you hold this weight? Does it just stop at the wrist and a grip? Does it move through you? And then we're going to lower the weight down to the ground following it all the way down, not rushing it, being with it until we're sure it's on the ground, stopping if you need to stop, stretch a little bit, finding the ground, letting the weight be there, and then not running away from it too quickly, but allowing your breath to bring you back up to standing. And now walk or move without the weight. How is it when I fully let myself be there for that weight and fully release it? How has this movement or walking changed now? Is your breathing different? And then return to the weight. 
because some weights just don't go away. We have to come back to them. And using your breath to bring you down, slowly enjoy the journey back to the weight, making contact with it, and allowing your breath to bring you and the weight back up. And once again, a little bit of walking or moving with the weight. Noticing what might be different or not different. And then coming back to standing and letting go of that weight one more time present for the whole journey down as you release it. And then breathing yourself back up to standing without weight. Eyes closed, take a few breaths. Notice what might be moving in you now. And then I'm going to give you the writing prompt. And like I said, if you want to scribble, you can uh, go to scribbling after you get the prompt. But we're going to write. And, um, and then we'll pause the recording for a while. And Steph and I will have our studio time. And you can work along although we won't be there with you, and then we'll come back for some studio talk. So the writing prompt is, what is this moment offering me? Welcome back. Um, how, I guess if the simple question is, how was it for you? <laughs> uh, wow. Well, for me, it, it was a combination of what we did, what we worked with, um, the sensing with the weight and then mm -hmm. not having the weight and just walking around with it and noticing it and being in, in the moment with it. And then the question, what is this moment offering me? like something about the combination of the two really combined with what I've already sort of been feeling lately. And it's, it, it offered me the moment, a moment or so of some space to see what it's like to not necessarily have to continue carrying around things that I've been holding the conditioning um, of always being liked or nice you know and just saying the right things and all, just so much but just what it was it just I just realized what it's like to not carry that weight it was in, it was just an incredible observation how it all tied in together my mine was the same too I found in my writing I was like oh weight can be put down and left and returned to yeah and how much I, um, when the weight of something gets to me, how much I sort of collapse under it and, um, uh, and think that that's all there is. Mm. And then when it alleviates itself a little bit, you know, I rush away from it, but I don't think I ever, but I haven't really put it down in an odd way. It's still, you know, I haven't like fully been present for the releasing it. Yeah. I, there was something about being fully present as you put the weight down that did something. I don't, I don't think I have words for it, but it was, it was powerful for me. And 
you know, I even felt that way with my uh, journal because finally I'm done with the three year tour journal. Wow. <laughs> and starting a new one. And there was a, a simple sensing that you had us do recently that was about emptiness and empty and full. And what I realized is that a lot of the weight that I carry around is in my head. And so it's, you know, and I feel that starting a new one, you know, the pressure of the weight of the old one, how incredible it was. Will this one be as incredible? And that sort of reminder, having to remind myself is, can I put the weight of the last one down? Mm. You know, it wasn't good or it was good and bad at times, but it's, it's finished. And so can I fully put that one down and not carry the weightiness of it into this one and let this one unfold and have its own weightedness. Wow. Yeah, you because know, there's, it's, I think what I've learned in this thing that I've been working with, with myself at home with the weight is it's not, the weight isn't, there's, an, it's not good or bad. It's just is. It is what it is. And when I resist it or get into how heavy it is or um, I'm not strong enough to carry, hold it, I mean, whatever it is, that's, that's really the weight. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then something you, you just said about carrying it over, that's something I had a, just a moment of clarity with as well is. I don't have to keep carrying this old stuff over into each new moment because mm -hmm. it fills up the potential, the potential of something else to occur. If I do that. Right. <sighs> it's like that. It's like allowing that place. I remember um, when I first started working with Judith and this was a really hard one was when I got to the end of the exhale, could I not push the inhale? Could I let that little space between exhale and inhale, inhale and exhale be there? Mm. So instead of, you know, bringing in more air on top of old air or not really, you know, could I just really be there for that one activity of exhaling relax into that little space and then let the inhale come. It was hard. You know, it's, we, we, I think we're so used to carrying everything over into the next moment, into the next thing. And um, the other thing that's interesting is I also don't want to try too hard to make this be completely different too. That's right. another where, can I just let it be? You know, when it's weighty, it can be weighty. When it's exactly like the last one, it can be exactly like the last one. And not get wrapped up in the heavy, and it's not way, the heaviness of my thoughts about it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm... This is a weighty, heavy time, girl. It, it <laughs> is. And I... I, I'm reminded of years ago when we were working, when I was your studio assistant a long time ago at um, the high school that we did some work at. Mm -hmm. We had this, I remember, I was, I just remember this conversation of listening to a Dave Matthews song, um, The Space Between or something like that. I don't even remember except that one line. And we, I mean, it is a power, that is a powerful space. Yeah, it is a powerful space. And we tend to rush it. Yeah. You know, rush from one place to the other. And, um, and what if we just give, what if we can give things the time they need to unfold? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Even when it's weighty. Even when it's weighty. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, thanks, Sarah. I needed this. That is for sure. <laughs> I needed it, too. <laughs> it was a rough Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> yeah. So, 
So um, I'll see you next month. Yeah. See everyone well, I'll next see month. you in between yes. on our Wednesday and Sunday. But for those of you who tune in here with us, we'll see you next month. Yeah. Or join us. The yeah. links are going to be listed in the description on this on this video. So. Yeah, this, if this kind of work moves you, it's exactly what we do on Wednesday and Sunday mornings. A sensing, a writing, sometimes scribbling, and then the unfolding, all in silence. Yeah. All right, Steph. All right, Thanks. Sarah. Thanks, everybody. Bye.